hey, if you're watching this video, that means you recently had a wedding or a session with me and you are scheduled to come in for an in-person consultation where we're going to go over your photos and I'm gonna show you products. But I wanted to give you a little heads up beforehand so you know all the things you should know. So friends, I've already seen your photos and as my aspirational BFF, Jonathan Van Ness would say, they're gorge. And I can't wait for you to see them too. But before we can get to that place, I need you to start thinking deeply, maybe meditating on, how are you gonna use these photos? And this is a trouble spot for most people because they know that they want the photos, but what exactly to do with them is a little bit more complicated. So this video is going to help you get from here to there before our sales meeting. Okay, let's talk turkey. What are the different ways you can display your photos? So let's start with wall art. Wall art has lots of options, framed being the most traditional. And the way I do framed prints, it's very customizable. You get to choose the size of the image, the size of the mat, and the frame. And there's plenty of options to choose from, so I'm sure we'll find something that matches your decor and style. Best part about framed prints is this. Your framed print is going to have a UV protectant glass. It's also going to be sealed with your hanger on the back. So that way, dust and dirt and mold cannot seep in there. The UV glass is going to float away from the photo, so it won't over time become stuck to the glass, which often happens with prints, making sure that this image looks gorgeous and perfect for 100 plus years. Now, if you're not sure what frame to choose or what matting to get, the best thing for you to do is send me a photo of the wall where you would put a framed print and we can play with the options in my software and find exactly what you're looking for. And while you're here during your sales meeting, you can actually touch every single frame and make sure that they're what you're looking for. Canvases are the next way you can share your images and they're very classically beautiful. You're going to be having your image printed on the same material that a painter would use to create their artwork. So you're going to get that lovely pebbled texture as well as the wrap around all sides, which helps your image to look more classical as well as more refined. So if you're looking for a style that's going to fit in any decor and look absolutely timeless and kind of give you that painting look, this is for you. An option you may not be familiar with is metal prints. And metal is one of my favorites. I like sleek, modern things. And this has four post holes with a three quarter inch mount. So this is going to float away from the wall, creating a shadow box effect. The metal itself has the image die subliminated. That means the die is put into the metal so it can't scratch off. And then a UV coating is put on the front. This will protect the images long term and give them that amazing high tech quality style that fits the decor that you love most, that kind of clean modern aesthetic. If you like the die sublimination idea, but you want something a little bit more crunchy, the best thing to do is go with a wood print. And this is actually my favorite style. I use it in my booth at the Seattle Wedding Show and I have it up in my home because I like the earthy texture. I like the use of the natural materials and I also love the grain of the wood coming through. So this image is also going to have a UV protectant to help protect the photo long term and the images will be disobliminated again so that photo cannot scratch off if something rubs up against the surface. Now, if wall art isn't what you want, maybe you don't have any wall space in your home, you've already put 9 million photos of your dog and cat up on there and you're just out of real estate, you're thinking an album is the right choice. And honestly, if you have a lot of photos that you love, albums really are the right choice. This is gonna give you the best opportunity to put your entire wedding or session on the page. And you're also going to get some really great quality from the albums. This album is a hardbound album and some key features that you should note is the thickness of the pages, the lots of options for the materials, the binding is particularly beautiful, and the acrylic cover is one of the many options. You can also do canvas, metal, and a fabric cover if you don't prefer to have a photo on the front. Now these also 
have what's called panoramic pages. So you can see that there's no seam there in the middle, which means you can put an image directly across the middle of the page and no image area is going to be lost. This album was printed on a matte paper, but you can also do a pearl paper, which has a little bit of a sheen to it. Lay flat albums are a cost-effective way to get an album or make a duplicate for family members, like say parents, as a gift. The difference with the lay flat album is you will see there is a seam down the middle here, so we just have to design accordingly. And the pages are photographic paper. So these can bend and the covers are one of three choices of genuine leather. And then you can do an imprinting with initials. Forgive me while I give you a metaphor. Say you went to a fancy five-star restaurant and after looking over the menu and really debating about what you wanted to get, listening to the waiter tell you about all of the wonderful specials and imagining this great meal in your head, the waiter comes and sits down, plates full of raw ingredients. The chef didn't do his job. The chef didn't finish your meal. By just getting the digitals and not printing your images, it's like getting a plate full of raw ingredients. Let the chef do his work, her work, my work, and take your images to the next level so you can really get the quality and the experience that you're looking for. Thanks for watching. Can't wait to see you in the studio for your sales meeting.